Keith Urban is my favorite country singer, and I recently started performing some more country music in my live show, and I'm really enjoying it, kind of exploring a different part of my voice. But I realized that doing a country voice isn't so much about doing that voice, it's more about just the stylistic choice that you make as a vocalist. And Keith Urban is an excellent example of that, in the fact that he's not from the South of the United States. He's from Australia, but he has this very thick American country southern accent when he sings country music. He sings any of his music, which all of its country, I guess. And so it goes to show you that anyone can sing country. Another group, Brothers Osborne, just won CMA Duo of the Year. And I've actually known John for a long time. They're a guitar player. He played guitar on my first couple albums. And I was really proud of them, but they're from Maryland. So Maryland and country music, that's not something that you think about going together or a country accent or southern accent with Maryland. Maryland's a northern state, right? So I'm actually from North Carolina, which is a southern state. And I used to have a very southern accent when I was growing up. I just kind of lost it a bit when I was traveling, but I brought it back to some music and I want to help you guys discover your own country voice because it might be really beautiful. We're going to stick with Keith Urban's song, Stupid Boy, for this. So if I was going to sing it with a non-country accent, I might go like this. She was precious like a flower, she grew wild and wild. Innocent. So that's a non-country accent. A lot of it is just kind of adding twang. And when I say twang, I mean actually that ang kind of sound. So instead of word, word, it's just a little bit more southern, the, the sound, you know? And it's kind of fun to do. And the other thing, stylistically, is adding a little bit more of a uh, chest resonance, a little bit of the lower overtones. Most country singers, they they would sing with a, um, she was precious like a flower. They'd sing more of that kind of, I'm, I'm really a man, so I've got a lot of low overtones in my voice. She was precious like a flower. You could add, do it like that. She was wild, wild and innocent. That's even a little bit more than Keith Urban in a country. It, so, but Keith Urban, we go. She was precious like a flower. She was wild, wild and innocent. Perfect prayer in a desperate hour. She was everything beautiful. Now the chorus goes up to a uh, G over middle C, which is a pretty kind of high voice uh, note for the average guy. It's a note that's a little bit of, actually it's kind of a trouble note for a lot of guys. So let's go over that and some different things that we can do in order to build up the ability to sing that note. Stupid boy, you can't fence that in, you stupid boy. It's like holding back the wind Left her heart and soul right in your hands Stole her every dream and you crushed her plans She never even knew she had the choice That's what happens when the only voice she hears Is telling her she So the highest note is there. That's what happens when. That's the G right there, okay? So that's the, the most difficult note. There's a couple things that we can do. The problem with actually singing a lot higher for a lot of country music is getting in those low overtones. When you start going higher, it's hard to pull up those low overtones and also blend into head resonance because those those overtones kind of fall away in head resonance. If you listen to Led Zeppelin singing, you'll notice he doesn't have a lot of low overtones in his voice. That's because he's singing a lot of higher stuff and all in head resonance. Like, been a long time since I rock and roll. Been a long time since I hit the show. You know, that's all, that's a B. So that's like really high notes for guys. It's actually really easy to do. Um, sing, you just have to sing it in head, head resonance. 
And then you can add in a little bit of that extra power. But anyway, we'll get into that in extra and other videos. So right now we're sticking on the country music. She left her heart and soul right in your hands. You stole her every dream and you crushed her plans. She never even knew she had the choice. I open up my throat a little bit for that um, that note, that, that high G, just to kind of, I kind of think wide and open when I'm doing that. And the other thing is, in order to keep those low overtones into that note, because it is a little bit of a higher note, I add a little bit of like a nasal resonance sound to it. So you'll notice it goes just a little bit more nasally for that, that portion. So one more time. Oh, and one more thing. I also breathe right before I do the high note. So I give myself a nice relaxing breath right before I go into the high note, and that makes it easier instead of trying to carry it all the way through. So watch this. Left her heart and soul right in your hands. You stole her every dream and you crushed her plans. She never even knew she had the choice, and that's what happens when sure what note I was going to do there. So in order to learn to sing these songs, I'll often do the songs higher than the actual original versions and approach them from different places, okay? Because you'll realize that you find different spots in your voice and ways of approaching the note by doing this. So now we're singing an A on the highest note, which is a pretty tough note for guys. But you'll notice my voice changes as I do this, um, and it has to. Certain overtones start to fall out, all right? That's why in country music, there aren't a lot of A's and a lot of this higher register stuff. Just only Rascal Flatts really does that, and that guy's got a very thin voice because they like to keep the lower overtones within country music. Never even knew she had the choice. And that's what happens when the only voice she hears is telling her she she never even knew she had the choice That's what happens when the only voice she hears Is telling her she can Stupid boy Now we're going to drop it down half a tone lower than the original Keith Urban version Alright, so let's do it all these different keys Because it's really good because you find these places in your voice and these um, and you also discover what key is best for you to sing it in because everyone is different. She never even knew she had the choice and that's what happens when the only voice she hears is telling her she can't. Hope this helps you guys out. Talk to you soon. Please leave me a comment or something. Just say hello. Leave me a comment. Love you guys.